It was immediately apparent that the new Labour government in Britain is prepared to carry on administrating capitalism in the same way as its Tory predecessors. Health Minister Wes Streeting repeated his previous promises that the NHS would be further privatised. Keir Starmer has made very clear that his priority is extra spending on the military and that this overrides any legislation to help the poor and in need. This could cost up to £209 billion. Labour is quite prepared to carry this through while failing to fund the NHS and social spending. Starmer gave full support to NATO. He assured allies of Britain that it would be business as usual as regards foreign policy and pledged £3 billion a year towards military support for Ukraine until 2030 or 2031. This is a rise to 2.5% of GDP. Starmer also gave a green light for the use of Storm Shadow missiles supplied by Britain to be fired into Russian territory by the Ukrainian military. Labour will not bring reform to the system. The Labour Party has presented a so-called deal for workers, which promises no tangible benefits or improvements for the working class and their conditions, which have hit all-time lows over the last few years. The Labour Party's commitment to guaranteeing the interests of capital has won them support from the British right-wing print media, most notably The Sun, who have backed the Labour Party for the second time in the 21st century. Labour's Chancellor of the Exchequer, Rachel Reeves, is using the old arguments of her previous Tory predecessor, George Osborne, that there is apparently no money in the coffers to justify her commitment to austerity. When Osborne became Chancellor in 2010, he referred to, quote, 13 years of fiscal irresponsibility under previous Labour governments. Reeves has done the same with talk of, quote, 14 years of economic irresponsibility under the Tories. The new government has refused to spend £2.5 billion to £3.5 billion estimated by Reeves that would lift the child benefit cap. An ending of the cap would have a beneficial effect on over a million children and their families. Reeves also abolished the winter fuel allowances for millions of pensioners and will be announcing cuts that will affect benefit claimants, probably including the sick and disabled, in the winter trying to force them into work. Meanwhile, Starmer talks big about law and order. Starmer went on LBC Radio to say that Labour were pushing for longer sentences for climate protesters and that, quote, they need to feel the force of law, end quote. This increasing authoritarianism is also targeting Palestine action, while the CPS is looking to charge them with terrorism based on a smear campaign by the authorities. The recent riots are also being opportunistically used by Starmer and his government to bring in even more authoritarianism. We need to reject the ballot box and all political parties and politicians, no matter who they are. Democracy and electoralism has failed us and always will. We need to unify and take action, fighting for our own interests on our own terms, with direct action and autonomous grassroots organising and resistance outside of and against the state in the capitalist system, building our own truly independent power for our own freedom and dignity. Thank you for listening everyone. All the best.